So should you pay off debt before you do any further investing or buy your first property? Hey, I'm Andrew Malcolm here from Mortgage HQ, and we're gonna be talking about debts before mortgages or mortgages before debts. Now, the first thing I wanna say is, if you're trying to buy your first house and you've got a lot of debt, uh, you're really going to want to get servicing calculations done and understand what your borrowing power is with the debt and without the debt. And the key thing that you need to keep in mind is if you want to buy a property, you need a deposit. You need at least 10% deposit. So if having that debt, no matter how bad it is, is allowing you to keep a 10% cash deposit between your KiwiSaver and the cash component that you have, then if you want to buy a property, you need to keep that deposit. So by paying down debt, if you have no deposit, then you're not going to be able to buy a property unless you get some outside help. So as long as you're not defaulting on your debts and you're managing to keep up with uh, the repayments and hopefully you're paying it down slowly, if you're thinking about buying a property, you have to protect the deposit. The caveat there is if you are defaulting on any of your debts, it's going to be very hard to buy property. So what you really want to do is pay down the debts that you're defaulting on if you have the cash available. And if you didn't, then you can't buy a property anyway. So debt is not a bad thing if it allows you to buy a property, but it is a bad thing if you can't afford that debt and you're not paying it off. Um, so the thing I would be saying is if you've got multiple debts, look at your debt consolidation options. There's a number of providers out there that will do personal loans. Uh, you can look at balance transfers. Uh, some of the banks will allow you to shift some of the debt over, give you 6-12 months of a very low or 0% uh, interest rate on a debt consolidation. Um, so that will help uh, give you a little bit of a reset and a little bit of a, a chance to catch back up and get yourself paying down that debt while still protecting your deposit. Now the thing is if you've got debt, you've got a deposit and you're just trying to figure out should you um, pay down debt or you know what, what options do you have, my guess is a lot of people have uh, they've bought things and that has led to debt like car loans or boats and uh, they've done credit card holidays things like that uh, I would be saying if you want to buy a property you don't need the flash car you don't need the flash boat you don't need the toys right now it's probably worth considering selling some stuff pay down your debts big or build up your deposit get into a property and get those toys back in a couple years time uh, once you are on the property ladder you know, for a lot of people it's got to be a decision between having nice things or having a property and in the short term uh, you know it's going to feel like you're going without but in the long term once you're on that property ladder uh, your wealth can really start compounding you just got to think about your five-year plan um, and you've got to set a couple goals so if you uh, with you know, trying to buy a property with a partner one of you has debt and the other one doesn't then you really got to set down on paper what goals you've got create a, a legal agreement if that's what's required and start looking at your money situation together uh, rather than separately now there's a lot of first home buyers that come through that uh, the partners are on uh, different wavelengths uh, maybe there's some undisclosed debt that somebody's a little bit embarrassed about uh, so you really got to get on the same page nice and early at least you know six twelve months before you want to buy and get some outside advice before you pay down debts um, especially if you're looking at that first house now if you already own a property and you've got debts and you want to keep buying property that's where you want to get um, advice from a mortgage advisor on whether you should do a debt consolidation into your mortgage or whether you should uh, debt consolidate outside of your mortgage whether you should pay down debts using a top up or not um, or if you should leave the status quo and your servicing power is strong enough um, to keep buying so talk to a mortgage advisor talk to a banker if required uh, just make sure that any um, conversations you, you have are not formal applications unless that's what you're prepared to do so if you've got questions about debt uh, before investing let me know in the comments below hit subscribe and uh, uh, if there's any other topics you want uh, us to cover let us know